What's going on, everybody? Aaron Bennett here. I'm going to go over some of the latest stories today. The first, Bloomberg sees Bitcoin rallying to $400,000 this year. The next story, Binance and Mr. Beast invest in refinable Binance Smart Chain's first NFT marketplace. The next story, exchange tokens rally ahead of next week's long-awaited Coinbase IPO. The next story, Robinhood's crypto business explodes in the first quarter despite GameStop controversy. And the last story, crypto traders should buy Ethereum over Bitcoin, according to billionaire Mark Cuban. So if you're new to my station, welcome. I'm putting out crypto content all the time, teaching you ways to make money. So if that is for you, make sure to subscribe. All right, so the first story talking about a $400,000 price prediction. So according to Bloomberg Bitcoin analysts, Bitcoin could climb as high as 400 grand this year. This Uber bullish prediction is based on Bitcoin's performance during the 2017 and 2013 bull runs. In the picture below, they say our graphic depicts Bitcoin on similar ground as the roughly 55x gain in 2013 and 15x gain in 2017. They go on to say to reach the price extremes akin to those years in 2021, crypto would approach $400,000 based on the regression since the 20. 11 high. They say that gold is fighting a battle with Bitcoin, which can earn 6 to 8% in crypto savings accounts and is well on its way to becoming a global reserve asset in the digital world. And not only can obviously Bitcoin uh, earn 6 to 8% in, they call it savings accounts, they're probably talking about Celsius, but so can gold. Pax Gold is earning 5.5% compounding weekly. Basically, you're getting paid every single week on gold. And this is gold that uh, you can actually take delivery of actual gold bars if you wanted to with this product. And take a look at the next story. So we are still in an NFT craze. Uh, we're getting Mr. Beast, who is a huge Bitcoin uh, bull, uh, talking about his investment in Refinable. And this is the first NFT marketplace on the Binance Smart Chain. So right now, what this is solving is the extremely high minting costs and gas fees regarding the Ethereum network, where most people are minting and purchasing uh, NFTs right now. So the Refinable NFT economy runs on Fine, which is a native crypto of the network, allowing users to facilitate transaction costs and maintain governance voting rights. So let me know what you think about this. I mean, we are seeing NFTs. Obviously, we are in a craze. I don't know how long this will last, or maybe NFTs will, will be this popular and grow in popularity forever. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, though. All right. So the next story, talking about the upcoming Coinbase IPO. So because of Coinbase's IPO coming up, a lot of other centralized exchanges have received a lot of attention. So take a look at some of these exchange tokens. So we all know what's going on with Binance token. It is absolutely exploded. If you would have invested $100 into Binance at its all-time low, $100, you'd have over a million dollars right now. So we know that Binance has absolutely exploded. But other platforms like KuCoin. So I made a video a few days ago talking about earning yield on KuCoin by lending out USDT or Tether. So as you can see here, KuCoin over the last 14 days up 200%. Last 30 days, 150%. Actually, look in the last week, it's up 101%. So KuCoin is doing really, really well. And then taking a look at FTT token for the FTX exchange has also done incredibly well too. So we're looking at a lot of centralized exchange tokens doing well, especially coming from this massive valuation that Coinbase has. And taking a look at the next story, Robinhood's crypto business explodes despite what happened with GameStop. So the company reported Thursday that 9.5 million users traded digital assets on its platform in the first quarter of 2021, a six-fold increase from the previous quarter. So for all the YouTubers and people saying that, oh, you need to hold your own keys, you, you know, you need to have a hardware wallet, it's not going to be that way. When we start getting all the massive people getting into Bitcoin, it's going to be through ETFs, it's going to be through centralized exchanges. It's going to be through places like Robinhood and PayPal, in my opinion. So, you know, that's why I, I'm not a big fan of the whole not your keys, not your crypto. I think that is very limiting to bring in the next 100 million people into crypto. Feel free to disagree with me. 
But, you know, I see places like Celsius, like Voyager, as the catalyst for bringing in the next hundreds of millions of people into crypto. And the last story, guys, Mark Cuban, the billionaire Mark Cuban, says, buy Ethereum over Bitcoin. So let's see what he has to say. So he says that Ethereum's smart contract functionality and its numerous use cases give it an edge over Bitcoin. He says, Bitcoin right now has evolved really to be primarily a store of value, and it's very difficult to use it for anything else. He says, whereas with Ethereum, there's just a lot more built-in utility in its organic and native form. The ability to use smart contracts is the difference right now. That's not to say there aren't layer twos on Bitcoin that could create new value and create new opportunities, but you really have to work a lot harder on Bitcoin than you do Ethereum. So what he's saying is true. It is harder right now to do smart contracts on Bitcoin, but there are people, there are companies that are that are working on this. So this is a very hotly debated topic, you know, Bitcoin versus Ethereum, what's going to be better? I think personally that they are just incredibly different. I think nothing can beat Bitcoin's longevity and also Bitcoin's security. Let me know your thoughts below. Bitcoin or Ethereum for a store of value. So to end the video, take a look at an extension for the Cybertruck. This basically gives you an RV in the back of your Tesla Cybertruck. It has a kitchen, a sink, a full mattress, induction stoves, tables, a workspace. It's connected to Starlink so you can get full internet. It has a spa-inspired bathroom. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. So anyway, guys, I guess I can say, hey, who's getting the Cybertruck? Uh, did you put your deposit down or not? Alrighty, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Leave a comment below with your thoughts. And until next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.